Hello and welcome traders at this Bitcoin technical analysis video. So today's video will be very long because we will go over all time frames. We will be starting with the highest time frame and we will dig our way into the medium to local time frame. So you understand context of the Bitcoin and where it's heading, where are the potential trade zones. We will go over all this. Why it's today an ideal day? Because we have FOMC and CPI. CPI news are hitting market today. And after that, one day after that, we have FOMC. Those will be really big events. And I think most assets in the world will be affected by this. No matter what decisions and what the news will be, because <clears throat> in case we have we get lower CPI reading, it should be good for risk on data. And tomorrow FOMC should probably, it's very likely they will pause raising rates. But if we get much higher CPI inflation, this will put a lot of risk into the market. And I think uh, the immediate reaction is going to be large sell off on the marketplace, Bitcoin as well. So yeah, you better be prepared for this. Also in this video, no financial advice, just education and entertainment information. Let's start with it. So for the Bitcoin, in order to understand Bitcoin on maximum time frames, you need to be uh, looking at the, at the Bitstamp, which has the uh, like longest history in the market. So <clears throat> Bitcoin, you know, we've got this massive pullback here. Uh, our previous market structures which were formed by the previous uh, highs of the previous cycle along with the anchor VWAP from that high provided us ultimate support here and uh, you know I was telling in the group before I expect the institutional bit starting from 20k and lower because this is uh, on a very large time frame this is very like ideal place to start you know scaling in into the bitcoin and bitcoin loves if you if you check previous cycles bitcoin loves a 70 percent plus correction so there is nothing new this is happening all the cycles you know bitcoin is just very volatile and if you do and wait for the uh, right pullback you can uh, you can do and outperform most assets in the world with the bitcoin so this was our ultimate support here and now we can go to Bybit, just wanted to mention this. Also very interesting thing, just was like uh, showing a few months back. You know, if you if you copy this pattern here and the bottoming process of the Bitcoin in the previous bull market, you are getting this bar pattern, yes. You see Bitcoin was following same, uh, because history, you know, tends to repeat, yes, uh, the price action. The market participants are same. It's mostly humans or bots programmed by humans. Yet again, we found bottom really similar structure to you know to previous to previous market. You can even see where market topped out. Look at here. He was the uh, you know the full pattern here. Yes, there was deviation here. We had a much longer range here, but you know the the magnitude of the bounce is pretty much similar to the to the previous one. You can see what happened after. You know we started to go into downtrend, and we all smalls like. Uh, made the full full pullback of the of the uh, first move just remember this was the corona moves here yeah so you better understand why why this happened so i think without the corona you see market quickly bought up bitcoin so without the corona news i think the structure would be a bit different and we would be just having like really deep pullback same thing which we are potentially doing here and continue to the upside yes so always understand these uh, fundamentals so let's go into the main chart we are at the high time frame so let's have a look this is what we are doing on the highest time frame um, so in this area mm, my swing short is still running i already had um, two take profits and i'm still have like 50 percent of the swing trade running because the final targets of the swing trade here by the way, which we prepared in a group. This is the folder uh, swing swing trade folder. This circled area was area where I was as a first positioning as a day trader into the swing swing trade. But you know, I knew potential from this area from this circle is swing trade as well, not just day trade. And it's it's uh, calmly playing down, playing out. Yes, very nice. Why why this was great swing tr swing uh, trade area? You have multiple reasons there. We went over this in the previous video. I will not repeat. But the main the one of the most reasons here, this was the VVAL of the sev 17 month VVAL. Yes, you can see this is the massive range here. Bitcoin was trading here many times. This was support. Yes. Now it was lost, and you expected at least day trade short or a swing trade short because you know so many times people bought this level. Even from the trap traders, you will need time to digest 
uh, you know, these trap traders who were buying Bitcoin for so many, even on spot market, they needed to get out, you know, to be at zero at least. So this pullback is absolutely zero surprise for, for us. Yeah, world was getting bullish. Yeah, we go to 35, 40K. No, no, this is the big region here. People need to scale out first. Also, if you, you know, you have on-chain data, yeah, you have dollar cost average from all these people who are buying from the corona lows from the we can say bull market right do you know where is their uh, average po average trading position if you were if you were if they were doing dollar cost averaging it's at 30k as well so this is massive region if you reclaim 30k you not only get get, get acceptance into this big range here and we can rotate it in the end yeah which can take months months you know or one or two years but you also get and like you will untrap a lot of people with 30k reclaim so but this this local pullback is not really no surprise for us there is another very important reason why we are doing this local pullback you know every market in the world hates inefficiency and bitcoin is still just teenager in its years and bitcoin is very very inefficiency inefficient this is giving us a lot of opportunities to trade bitcoin uh, let me show you what was doing what was going on here so we are at four hour time frame let's go like this so we don't see that volume do you see this do you see this volume gap here so bitcoin did massive pump massive uh, inefficient pump in the end and we've got the no because even not here bitcoin was not trading much here not trading much here we haven't built much volume here so it's very logical when bitcoin goes on pullback it starts to fill this node and that's what we are doing right now you see now the volume is adding and below us there is still not much support the first first decent support is starting at 24 800 uh, just from the volume volume price action and it's not surprised we are ranging here we can actually range here for longer because we are filling the low volume node we are filling the inefficiency in our exochart templates which we are using which we are watching for the uh, range rotations on weekly and monthly time frame it was also obvious yeah look at this week yeah inefficient huge pump and market is slowly but surely with these lows here it's filling the inefficient price price action do you see where is the real support from this inefficient price action of course it's 24825 24825 of um, a naked point of control we have many sh short strapped here Yes, you can do exochart analysis here. Uh, some people are still trapped here, so this is really strong naked pog and it's real support on a high time frame. But yeah, market is feeling that. If you lose this, you know, you can then expect feeling these single prints, these weekly single prints here and so on. But yeah, let's continue. Let's continue further. So yes, we are feeling this low volume out here. So very logical place. I was saying already as initiating a swing short here, uh, first day trade and then swing trade. It becomes swing trade after we change local market structure, especially when you took this low here, you did, you did a market structure change. I said the big target is going to be low volume note. And if we don't hold this low volume note here, then we can go lower and uh, feel big inefficiencies over here. So let's turn on the, let's continue with the higher time frame analysis, then we can go a bit uh, deeper. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> so we are rejecting from this wall here, um, and now we are building this we are building this uh, volume in the low volume nodes here, and what we are exp what we are waiting for if we don't hold you know this this volume and these previous market structure tops here, then the previous range which was uh, taking us like nine months. We will be watching uh, VAG, VAL and point of control of that range and high volume nodes. Those will be your next true strong support zones, yes, because even this pump here is very inefficient. inefficient. We have a lot of low volume nodes, fair value gaps in it and so on. <clears throat> so this range comes into play right now. We are still above, so yeah, continuation is more likely on higher time frames. But you watch this, yeah. But first we have 24,800. High time frame anchor view ups. So the main anchor view ups which are tracking volume from our bull markets are still above us. So uh, this is telling you this is still not bull market. You will need to reclaim this big band here. If you reclaim this start, if you reclaim this big band, in my eyes, this is going to be a sign of strength, especially if you take out this high here, because it will change. Uh, you will change one weak market structure. So yeah, you take out this high, you can then establish lower you know, higher low and then continue, you know, up. 
but yes in in technical terms with anchor vivaps this is still um, not bull market yeah you need to reclaim this so market structure long terms As you can see, we have the two market structures we are watching right now. We are bouncing from the smaller ones here, but the, the another next uh, next support from those market structures are waiting here at twenty four thousand around twenty four thousand to twenty three thousand seven hundred, and then we have the twenty two six hundred to twenty five three hundred. So those market structures I'll be watching from from this uh, big time frame. FIPS, uh, this is the Fibonacci pull. So we have the Fibonacci pull from the top to the lows. And you can see market still unable to trade above uh, 0 0.2386. I don't use it much in my trading, but I, uh, I'm aware of this on the big time frames because for me it's important to, to trade above this because if you leave this 0 0.2386 area, it's, uh, it's showing you the first sign of strength and uh, potential negation of the, uh, of the overall bear market move and this, you know, so we are not trading above, we were trading above a bit before, but still, you know, we need to reclaim this and trade ideally above 30k. And that's going to be great for us then. By the way, moving averages uh, is not much used in our group, but they only watch 200 day moving average and 200 uh, week moving average. Um, I don't use, we have much better tools to use than moving average. Moving average is like riding um, Fiat instead of Rolls Royce if you have the anchor VWAPs and normal VWAPs, yeah, because they track volume and moving averages don't. So yes, but you can be aware of this because they often they often serve as uh, you know dollar cost average points, <clears throat> and you can see we still have the uh, you know 200 day moving average waiting at the moment at 23,800 coming up to the price so we will see what we do on Durita so I'm just watching that in overall and for a long time we were supporting this 200, 200 a week moving average but we for now we are trading a bit below so but yeah, it's still choppy around it so not much decisions uh, from it okay Also, we can have a look on the monthly. So on monthly time frame, you can see price is also same as on weekly time frame. We are filling the inefficient price action here. We have some decent volume here, so we will be expecting from this range, from the higher time frame, we'll be watching for the for the you know for the bounce from this range. We have a decent support there, but you know, you can also watch this naked wall of the month. Uh, the reaction is very pretty, pretty likely because just below you have the previous, you had point of controls there, so volume is starting to be decent there. So you can do swing failure pattern of this low here, and then take out val, and then you can see the bounce and return back to this range. That's more likely, you know, they're just uh, diving through. Then you can build some volume bounce and then continue. If you continue below this vval, you know, then you will have a look on the, on this range here and uh, supports from this range. At the moment, market is still, you know, when we approach the VAL, you know, when we are trading this, when we are trading this, I am definitely watching the VAL of the current month as well, because we have keep finding this support there. Yeah, so it's really, really decent for us at the moment. Okay, so I think it's best to now to go to medium time frame analysis. Uh, it's mixing a bit with higher time frame analysis, but I have the most data there. So you can see what's going on. So let's go. Let's go to four hour time frame. We will be starting with the AMT. You know, the AMT is core basis for our trading. It's bringing us guidance. It's bringing us, you know, we can uh, predict market well with AMT where it's heading. So uh, we can be starting with it. So market currently, <clears throat> we are currently in the limbo because we are trading between 
two major ranges. <clears throat> this is one of the main range we've cut here. And then we have the previous range as well here. So we can see market is building. As we were discussing market is in the, you know, where is that? Market is building volume in the, you know, no, no volume zone. So it's pretty nice. So we are building the volume here and your signs of strength going to be what we are waiting for is to get acceptance back to this range. If you start to get, get acceptance into this range, <clears throat> you can then expect the rotate range to the point of control to take out liquidity above this high. And then you will be also watching if you try, if you manage to get acceptance into the larger range, right? So you'll be watching this VWAL as well, very important level. So uh, level to level trading is important in AMT. So this is going to be sign of strength for you. If you do this, you retest, yes, and then you continue up. You will reject point of control very likely. Now decision point comes here. Do you, re do you find support here? I continue up or you will go lower. You will rotate this range. Then here, if you lose this, you know, this is going to be sign of weakness. You go for lower pullback. So AMT is giving you a lot of, you know, reasons when to take profit, where to, when to engage in positions. So very simple here. And as we go down, we are watching this range here um, as well. This is not ideal range pull, as you can see here, because it was more, more um, we have very large deviations from this range, but still this is best I can do in terms of pulling pull here. So we'll be watching that as well. Just remember the whole move up here. We have the most volume here and uh, this is very inefficient price action. So, and remember how it happened. We, you know, price is driven by fundamentals as well. This was the bank crisis for the Bitcoin in the US and uh, all many assets. Bitcoin started to behave really like gold. So it was pushing heavily on safe haven flows. So remember such a big push can be also, we haven't built much support here. You will be watching this volume here, but we haven't built much support in this massive pump up. This is the really, really only support here, this small range here. And then we can easily feel more inefficiencies on the way to the downside. So be careful with that and be aware of that. Yes. And now, you know, Bitcoin again, it's driven by fundamentals. We are pushing on the pullback because we have the, uh, in the US, the government is against, you know, is putting a lot of negative uh, attitude towards Binance and Coinbase and the assets are reacting. So we can actually, this is negative for the industry and we are seeing outflows, especially on uh, Ethereum and altcoins. They are dragging Bitcoin down as well. Bitcoin is not security, is not classified as that, but you know, it's feeling the, it's feeling the pressure from other sections, you know, of the, of the chart. Okay, let's remove this range here. Okay, so we have the empty done. So this range we will be watching. Um, also, as this was the news event and Bitcoin was pushing heavily on the news. And the fundamentals, I think when we started feeling, you know, the uh, inefficiency price action pump, we can find the market will be more content and we can find uh, proper, proper supports. Yes, as we'll be heading here. So I don't think we just uh, like fully dive and uh, take out the whole move down. We will be finding supports on a, on a strong technical zone. So I do not doubt about that, but it's good for you to know the main supports. If you start feeling this, uh, it's going to be this range here. Um, the high volume notes from the range. You see how this one stopped us. We still have the naked point of control from the 13th of June to 8th of November. If you haven't bought Bitcoin below 20K, then this is uh, very likely going to be your big, big area for you. It's not likely we get there, but if we get, you better have alerts below this low. You can take liquidity from here and you know, this is, this is very strong here. And if you don't hold here, of course, you will be watching on the, on this, uh, this range here. Let's go. Market structure zones. Let me check.
some things in my folder here local one also combining like higher time frame so i'll be i'll be just starting from here and then we will we will go over all this so it's it's important for you to understand so you, you can have a good structure as well for you in this video even if you don't use uh, system views so market structures very important for me they were making uh, decision making for me uh, much easier uh, you see this market structure is highlighted one. I think this was the most important market structure we had on, on the chart. Many times it becomes support and demand zone. Many times it becomes support and resistance. You see, there was really important flip here. Let's go to, to our time frame. Now we did big flip. Yes, even on our longs here, this was def definitely our tech profit area. So big flip here, you need to reclaim this market structure. Yeah, because you will then return back to this and on the way to the downside we are starting to kiss you are starting to kiss double market structure zone so from our previous from our previous important high here we just did uh, over the weekend we did the kiss the reaction was to the dollar so yeah very important high here and from the very from the previous range which is naked you have naked market structure here untouched also just below the low so yeah this is another even if you lose the lows you can still get another trade from this area so you better watch it and more locally you also have this market structure because we've created two high volume uh, lows so we have the local market structure so to the upside we need to really uh, reclaim this and then we can continue to this one and to this one i have only the strongest my strongest market structure zones on my chart and if we lose this market structure there is much there is not much support in terms of market structures and the next support is starting here from the 24200 to 23800 this is highlighted market structure so yet again very strong it was big big super big resistance in the in the past now it's going to be very likely it's going to be support uh, in the future so not only you need um, you also need more local ranges which you can trade um, you know you can trade <clears throat> just a sec <clears throat> so yes we have uh, local ranges which you are trading as uh, scalpers i will not do, i will not go over them just remember if you go be, be, uh, below beyond this high here we are watching this point of control and back of this range as a main target if you get acceptance here and this is going to be a really big resistance for us to the downside for the you know you will change market structure when you take this high but it still can give you a nice day trade here and you can see uh, this range here was pretty short so it took only two days so don't expect massive support from from here um we we can definitely get day trade but in order to become swing trade we need to see much more uh, signs of strength change of market structures and so on we can actually first get some trades and spend some more time here so be aware if you lose this you know we have the inefficiencies to fill You see this, for example, this high volume node is three days, so it's much weaker than the 14 day high volume node, which is naked here. Yeah, so you expect stronger reaction from here with potential, with larger potential for day trade. You see what's the problem for the Bitcoin. If we lose this range here, we have so many low volume nodes here to fill. It's just crazy. There is uh, very little support below 22, 23,900. Yeah. In terms of Anchor VWAPs, I'm just showing you the most important stuff. Uh, we use Anchor VWAPs a lot because it's like your green light or red light to your to your trading. On my chart, the main Anchor VWAP to the, you know, to the like keeping the downtrend, yes, is this one. We can see we even, uh, we try to close above it, but we reject it. I was also measuring Anchor Viva from the top, which is measuring the top range, and it was collecting the volume. This was, this was the what ultimately stopped us as well. So until you reclaim this Anchor Viva up here, we are still very strong in a in very strong local and medium time frame downtrend. Yes, <clears throat> but we also have we are supported now. You see, this was the uh, look at this. This is the news event bump 
Bitcoin made from 90,700. Very important anchor review up. You can see the reaction before we were loading massive longs because this was the first stage of anchor view up. This is when it's the uh, strongest. Now we've seen a lot more chop here, so it become weaker. Now you see what it's doing? This this single anchor view up change your bias. Change your bias more to the downside because we are now spending most of the time below us. So the the whole whole this whole uptrend move is in danger and it's telling you the pullback might go lower. Yeah, look at how many rejections we've got. We were trading this. Even these pumps here again stopped. Yeah, so you need to reclaim this. You need to again reclaim this for the upside. First sign of strength in case of uh, these anchor view ups. And then this one as well, this downtrending one. And then you have more local one from here, from this high. You see we are trading and uh, trading below this. So market pretty weak. Yeah, very, very weak market at the moment, uh, this locally. Just one thing to keep in mind as you, you are just squeezed now it between uh, important anchor view ups. You see this one is now providing support and this one is holding its back. Where are they coming from? Let's have a look to our time frame. So this one, you know, the, the blue one is measuring volume since we speaked here and we started to collect the this was after full first impulsive wave up, which is took which took us out of the, you know, out of the bear market, we can say. So it's collecting very important volume. Uh, this is what is holding us. And the second one is coming from this is measuring the current, the full bull market move since, you know, 16,500. So this is we can also you see this is the end of the year. So this is also a yearly anchor view up as well. And you can see um, this is important area. Yeah, we can actually lose it. We can lose it into the uh, into this range support here. But then I want to see the sign of strength for me is going to be reclaim this. I don't want to trade below this. The longer we trade below, the risks will be increasing. We go down. Yeah. So uh, definitely this one is the most important for me for the upside. So watch it. In terms of order blocks, we don't have as many, um, you know, order blocks you can learn in the group. Uh, I focus only on the, on the strong order blocks, which are market changing. This is very strong order block here at 25k because it led to change of market structure on multiple time frames. So we are watching those. This is the regular one, which led to the escaping of the range. Above us, we have in close proximity this, this for our... Um, Order block and, and few other blocks to the upside. None of them is very strong, like I don't have the so it's average power. But this is the strongest order block we have below us. So we good to know for us. In terms of extensions, let's have a look. So I already prepared myself. <clears throat> I already prepared for myself extension in case we leave we leave to the upside. Uh, this is the first extension we have at the moment. This is going to my. Uh, this is going to be for my because I have uh, longs in the in the. Uh, we have longs in the group. Some people manage to long here. Some people are as me because I was not trading weekend. I'm long from here, so this is going to be initial target for the for these longs and I take profit, and then you have this as well. So very local. Very local extension, but for the downside we are us using much larger time frame extension. We need to go to four hour time frame. Yes, this is the first one. Mm, market uh, confront for me, it's paying its attention to it because we saw reaction here. I'm just watching another multiplier of the of that and the multiplier is now at 23,700 in this area. So that's what I'm watching. We are unable to reclaim this. Not good sign yet. And then we have the major pool. This is uh, you need to always distinguish which is the most important pool for you. So this pool come from yes, from here. So you see, this was time for take profit. We were looking for longs here. Liquidity was taken from here. Perfect. And you you've got this first the shorts hit massive target. So you see the reaction was not crazy. 
but even from shorts taking profit and some longs going in you can you can get some decent move this is the main pool market is paying attention to that and i'm paying to attention to that as well 23,300 is the start of the golden zone from this extension and um, it's pretty close for the for the more, more local one which was here so good to know but yeah this is the most important pool for me based on the reaction here and so on yeah So balance zones, those are uh, extensions. You are pulling from the range, usually from the from the ranging market, because you know balance zones. If you don't have access to the liquidity tools, it uh, literally tells you where is um liquid where are the liquidity multipliers, where you stop people out, where you liquidate people out. So we are using balance zones in conjunction with the liquidity. Uh, it's always good to be aware of for you. Uh, what you can because this can lead the, you can predict market with it as well what is great on balance zones extensions is the symmetry of the market as well because symmetry tends to repeat especially in these market conditions where it's all about liquidity you can see from my latest latest pool on this on this this is the local range we are trading we already had deviation first deviation here uh to 25319 very close little 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 how you call it front run little front run here but you you took out uh, the most aggressive longs from this range already from the balance zones here this is the first uh, you know this is the, the most aggressive level 0 0.25 uh, you can see what was the symmetry of the current range we are in we haven't had energy to reach 1.5 but the same symmetry will apply here so you can actually front run um, 28, 28, 24,000, you see again, 25,000 is the zone. You see already, that's what, how I'm preparing the trading plan for myself. I'm going all, all over the tools and I'm preparing uh, to the upside and to the downside. You can see 25K already had multiple reasons to be uh, decent support, 24, 800 to 25K. Balance zone also has targets there. If you lose this low, this is going to be just uh, next logical target. This is the previous range, which was break, which actually led to. This was the range we started like local bear market move. So I'm also watching the balance zones of it. Uh, you see here 1.5k reaction. Then the main, then other main target is going to be 24300. <clears throat> I use a lot of stuff, but the reason is not just for day trading. It's also for the scalping, yeah, because I can combine the things for scalping confluence as well. Okay, let's go here. You also need another symmetry target from this was the main range. The main the main time the price price spent was was set when we set this low and high. So this was the establishment of the most price action. So and you need to really have symmetry from this range. You can see we all almost get a touch to the first symmetry zone, but it was not touched yet can happen today this is the range and we also have the core range this was the first uh, after impulsive move up when we move ten thousand dollars this is the first levels which established the first uh, you need to really zoom in on very small time frames and see this was the establishment range you can see um, one to one extension was here two to one extension was reached here so Absolutely massive targets is waiting at 24,634. Yeah, so now we went over the important balance zones. In terms of view up closes, we are using them a lot. <clears throat> Actually, here we were bouncing a lot on the uh, we've closed the weekly and monthly uh, naked view up close. Yeah, so that's also why you saw the big bounces. We still have a lot of inefficiencies to the downside, especially this one is very interesting. The quarterly we up close, uh, the naked close, just below this low. It's really great because when you close the inefficiency and you do swing value pattern here, you can have decent bounce. And to the upside, we have monthly view up close. Also, you can do swing value pattern of the highs of the high or into it and then reject. Beautiful. We have some local FIPS. Um, Waiting for us, nothing special on Fibonacci. 
let's go to dailies we are using daily weekly and monthly we have a lot of dailies to the upside which we plan to trade that's perfectly fine and you can see we don't have ma as many naked dailies to the downside uh, the the next one closes here at 24,366 in terms of weekly market structure two naked weeklies to the upside and this is a very strong market structure weekly if you want to see um, good upside from the Bitcoin, you better close about 29,873. You can see when we go to small time frames, why? Yes, three big rejections here. This is a market structure weekly, very important one. You need to close on weekly basis above this and then you will open road to this high and to continuation highs. Yeah. We have liquidity above this high, so I don't think it's very it's going to be very hard with market approach here. <clears throat> because you will liquidate and cascade people from all three people, uh, three uh, high stop losses. But you know, to close above, to close close above is going to be another case. Weekly time frame. Yes, this is really good. Twenty four thousand two hundred eighty three. Really good market structure weekly here. I'm definitely watching that. This was very important close here. So, and then we have the naked weekly at 22,167. That would be also great because you you will be back into this range, but you don't you don't take this low and you can literally get trade from this naked weekly for big continuation to the upside. So, 22,167 big alerts on for me. Monthly time frame. <coughs> New naked week monthly here is missing for me and then we have the two market structures monthlies here. Yeah, so again, we'll be watching that. Let's go to four hour time frame. Let's move this into the folder. So no matter how you trade, you need to have nice folder for the naked point of controls. You can see, uh, I was already showing you earlier in the video, this uh, weekly naked point of control. It's pretty much no brainer here. It's big support from this previous range. And not only we have weekly naked point of control, but we also have the daily naked point of control in the area from volume and from TP also. Just from the point of controls, confluence, uh, big, big uh, you know, high probability area. Above us, we have weekly naked point of control here. So even if you take out this high, you still watch this for the uh, for the scalp at least. And you see another uh, another strong naked point of controls with trap traders area is here. Weekly from 28,600 to 28,900. You know, if market pushes impulsive way and uh, it starts to reject from here and be going below this low, be, be below this high, you know, you have swing value pattern in play from the daily naked point of control. That's what you want. Now, this is the folder I'm using for the naked, uh, naked range rotations, which are yet to, they can take, uh, you can, ro you, you can rotate range in uh, one week, the previous week range. Or you can do it in few months, but you better you better know this because each time you do it, uh, you give reason uh, mar to market to close positions because people reach target. So you can expand some scalp at least or even day trades. So you see, this is really nice folder to, to for me to know when uh, when you finish the naked uh, rotations. <clears throat> you see a lot of levels here. That's what the, what is building confluence for you. In terms of key market structure levels, those are levels which can be very precise. Bitcoin is super volatile asset, so it trades, uh, it loves zones, but we have levels which are giving us bias and uh, they can react to the dollar. At the moment, we uh, that's also what lost our bias and open road to the downside was the, this was the first high here at 26,635, which took us out of the nine month range. 
and you see how many times it was for us support if i go to lower time frame to two hour time frame one two uh, many uh, i personally took like uh, over uh, five trades with the, with the level it's like legendary status now you can't reclaim this area uh that's pretty bad for bitcoin so in order to go to the upside you need to reclaim this is very important hi this is for example key summer low of 2021 so you see very old level level from two years back but still as we were approaching back into those to those levels you see how many rejections we've got so important level for me to be above and on the way to our downside you can see we are very close actually on some exchanges we already hit the level so that's why we also holding here yeah you can see what is this if you go here this is the low when the funds collapsed yes so very important high volume low big big resistance twice big resistance and now potential support yes so already uh this is also area so that's why i also mark these market structures areas and yeah if you lose this this will open rogue back to the back to the downside and we will be focusing on the, on this key level here and on those two key levels here for important highs simple swing failure patterns let's have a look on liquidity so how is the liquidity looking so simple liquidity um taking out these highs here we we didn't we haven't built as much liquidity to the upside um so we can actually the market creates swing failure pattern there will be no uh, cascading effects to the upside and you can you can do swing failure pattern here much better liquidity over here even better above us but thing is uh, the liquidity is the most juicy to the downside um this actually was a uh, much larger liquidity node but market took most of it already mm, it's still li left like 10 percent left we also have another liquidity multiplier here look at this major liquidity of the three months because the range is taking for so long time and we are like uh, trading uh, lower and lower of the range since the middle of the april we are collecting volume and building this major liquidity note so uh, you know we are aware of the good support at 25k to 24800 but you also be need to be aware of this major liquidity market can easily cascade um, yeah we also have trap traders in this so we will see this is going to be interesting battle trap traders escaping versus longs getting liquidated and uh, closing down yeah so it's going to be a battle we will see in terms of liquidity we are watching the uh, main liquidity tool you can see even if i go here it's already showing the major's liquidity but for the medium to higher time frame liquidity i'm i'm using high block so high block here three months binance boom yeah so you see these nodes started to be really juicy for the market uh, as the longer the line range goes and you see what was happening here front run that this was not taken out again front run and now we finally that's why we are getting very violent bounces because market makers the large part market participants and other entities know if they place limits here they will get easy feel from people getting stopped out uh, it's like guaranteed almost guaranteed feels and we also get big bounces here so another node was look here the first two nodes taken out then another node taken out bounce uh, now we need to go a lot further to to cascade this liquidity yeah? so 24 200 to it's uh, already becoming from medium to it's becoming major liquidity node but in terms of liquidity market took a lot of it already yes so single prints inefficiency to the downside more of them so order flow support and resistance uh, that's what i was talking about so you can from exocharts you can directly mark how many people are trapped uh that's what is making this zone this this area here stronger than usual because we still have there was seven thousand bitcoin shorts on binance uh, the open interest was composed 60 percent shorts so yeah we still have um that's what you like to see when you are watching for the uh, for trap traders you want to see much more traders offside on one side of the market so that's what is the case here 
<clears throat> and I think these breakout longs because I sometimes when the massive open interest uh, in, when we have a massive open interest increases, I mark it on the uh, in this folder as well, so I know who is vulnerable. As we were pushing up, we've got uh, seven seven thousand breakout longs on uh, USD Tether. People are greedy in the nature, so of course the move was great. Uh, many people took profit, but not not all of them. And you see what market did. Market in the end returned back to them and um, stopped most of them. I will consider most of them are out already, so I'll be deleting this after this, and we will be left with the trap traders below us on all exchanges, not just uh, Binance. 70 million on inverse. Um, and we have the naked. We, we actually have naked traders here. This is the most strongest what you can get if you have the naked because they are part of the point of control as well. Okay. Also market um, inefficient. So for to the upside, we are still waiting to fill the CME gap. This is part of the uh, longs we are in. It's an idea of the longs. Another CME gap to the upside and big up. Oh, that's far away. We don't need to go over that. Uh, geometry wise, geometry is not so important for me. Um, we have much better, stronger tools, but just be aware we are in the downtrending channel here. Uh, what is interesting, uh, just from the geometry, I like to see is we have the. So we have the lo more local downtrend channel, but uh, on bigger time frame we have this massive uptrend channel. If you overlay them, what you are getting, especially to the downside, you are getting this conjunction here. So you have double geometry uh, confluence here. Yeah, so be aware of this uh, at 24, 250, let's say. Now let me show you uh, the trades I was taking recently. Uh, I think it's um, fine to show you over the weekend. So let's go, let's zoom in. So you see the direct trading because the, it's a lot of uh, TA talk, but um, direct trading is, you know, that's what we are after as well. So let's go over here. We will go over this situation because I think you can learn from it a lot. So market finally broke down. We went for the liquidity and what I was already pointing out in the group, the open interest was, was skyrocketing. Do you see how many people we added from 20, uh, 210? We added almost 15,000. Uh, how much is, is this? So I can tell you exactly 15,000. Bitcoin price 27K, let's say. Yes, yeah, so over 400 million open interest increase. Uh, this is telling you, you know, um, for me personally, it was telling me market has plenty of liquidity now to take out major swing failure pattern at 24,524. Uh, but we also had a lot of aggressive shorts in here. Um, if you go to exocharts, you can do analysis of this. In trading light, it's a bit easier to see. Let me show you. This market situation was over here. Yeah, you can look at the CVD, absolutely huge shorts are going into the market. This is the spot market, so spot market selling heavily. But what we, what we need to see, we need to see the, um, the leverage. Look at the open interest increase, huge. Uh, the CVD, very negative, almost nobody, uh, nomad, not many people, like sellers were fully in control, so you know more people are in shorts here than in longs. It's super simple to see. You can also see that in the uh, CVD templates. Let's have a look. History. Over here, look at the Delta, right? So Delta Perpetuals, they, they were absolutely killing it. Almost twice more volume on the on the sell side, yeah? With massive open interest increase. <laughs> what is it telling you? Um, for, for me, it's super obvious data. I know if market push over breaking points of these shorts, uh, it's almost guaranteed we see volatile move and you, they will be uh, they will be forced to close out. Yeah, so you can actually if you if you manage to go long, uh, you will get along. So I said I will be watching. Uh, I will watch for scenario where we do swing failure pattern and squeeze those shorts. 
that would be ideal so you first take liquidity from the longs and then you squeeze the shorts that's how you can predict future with the open interest if there will be no swing failure pattern is very clear what trade zones we have below us uh, let's go to chart so you can see what i was meaning okay so we see a very small range here market is uh, the volatility is going down so i said i expect first liquidity to be taken to the downside Yes, we took out this low, so you are already having swing failure pattern here, trade. We took, uh, we destroyed longs, and now you look at the move to the upside. It oh, it has doubled the magnitude of move to the downside. Why? Why? Because more people were uh, just in shorts. So this move up was super much expected. You've got uh, long here. Your stop loss very tight. Reward ratio huge. Look at the move to the upside just for this swing failure pattern perspective. 2.7 percent move. But you see what is happening, you need to be always aware of the local local stuff. You feel some inefficiencies, but you arrive to the to the start of the market structure resistance. Yes. This whole zone is your take profit area because it's still you've got people trapped from the previous range here. So you are taking some nice profits. Um, and as the move was happening on the open interest decrease here, uh, let's go here. Yeah, so market breaking down, open interest going down on the logs closing. Now you are moving up. Uh, also, the you know, the shorts are getting wrecked, and you are taking some nice profit. And the market also did another reversal because it was the uh, move on the declining open interest in 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 the you know weekend environment. So you did another swing for the pattern. So you, you even had another trade here. So swing for a pattern of this low. Not only this low, you also did the another low taken out on the other exchanges as well. So <clears throat> pretty cool. And I will be showing you when I would when I went long here. Yes, it was over here. Let me show you the setup. It's also market was creating a market had CME gap like was huge for you. So um, your bias for to hold this long was a bit longer. Perfectly fine. That's what I said. That's what happened. I was not even on charts, but it happened as exactly as I said. I was already having the first scalp here from the uh, from the naked point of control. Juicy scalp from the session naked point of control, same as previous day, uh, volume build around it, because previous day you had the same one. I also said market happily selling over no spot support areas, just note large spot demand below us, especially below most liquidity building, building from the weekend. I said glad market gave decent pullback. If we don't take out current low and see liquidity, I will have for CME gap. Um, that was the thing, but we in the end went for the liquidity sweep, and you can see what happened here. This low, this low. We now market had enough liquidity to, you know, to like it was worthy. The moment, water. So market took weekend liquidity here into the spot walls uh, or spot supports. This was another entry for me. This is the, actually the entry I'm still holding um, as a day trader as well. I already had to take profits. Uh, market even got pullback, so I was adding to full size. Um, <clears throat> really great. I, I got this pullback because I was not trading over the weekend. And you can see, I was also mentioning the order books. You see, order books. Just over here. Yeah, just over here. So we also feel the nice spot wall here. And market, you know, would need a lot of volume because below us, a lot of spot spot demand is waiting for the market. So this was another this was another long for me two accounts both scalp and swing trade. Now I already uh, we were taking liquidity here, so we were, I was already taking profit here. Market got pullback, I got alert. Again, I was loading up, so I'm at seventy percent position. Again, I had another take profit. 
and now I will be de risking in front of the uh, CPI news. So I will be taking, I will be probably keeping just 40% of the size uh, position. And if market continues to the upside uh, on the good news, I'll be adding to trade a bit. It will lift my order a bit, but I will be then expecting CME gap full. <clears throat> but you see how important it is to watch the, the order books. Okay, so I showed you examples. I was, uh, was just trading this. And now let's have a look what zones we have to the upside and to the downside. This is the chart where I have a lot of stuff uh, on, but it's perfectly fine because you can in other chart turn on what you need. Because we need to be, I need to be aware of the confluences. Oops, like that. So if we, <clears throat> if we take out these lows here today on bad, bad news, I will I will know for myself we have still the low volume now to fill the single prints to be filled so inefficiency to be closed then we have the major liquidity now to be run this is the remaining note from the very old liquidity I also know we have the kilo here with the anchor view above the uptrend so I will be watching already that 25,200 if we start finding support here or and doing swing failure pattern or we just continue our move to the downside into our 25,000 at 25,000, we have the symmetry targets. We have the strong order block. And we started to get also symmetry from the larger time frames. And we are having on the spot markets, we are having big support in order books at 25,000. So we can already see a potential reaction from 25,000. And if we went over that, then we have the, you know, the area I was mentioning uh, in the middle of the video, the daily naked point of control combined with weekly naked point of control. We have the three day high volume note here. This is the start of the trap traders here. Um, another symmetry pool. This is going to be also major liquidity so people can fill positions. So for me, 25,200 to 24,800 is the area of support and we can actually get multiple bounces or we just slide, you know, below on high volume and find support at 24,900. This is a very big area. To the downside, another trade area is waiting for me because this will, if you go here, you will rotate to the VAL. So because we have the uh, small range here, so you can, you will rotate this range. You will get into the end of the trap traders areas. You will get double geometry support here. You will get into the order block and you will finish the liquidity run. Um, you will take liquidity from many people already from another multiplier session. I get point of control. Yeah. Defining our trap traders. Another key level here. Oh, very, 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 very straightforward. These two trade areas below us to the upside. As we are positioned already in the longs and if news will be uh, in favor of the longs, then I'm looking to there is not much there is not much resistance above these highs here because we are also building building liquidity above them you can see that over here i just want to see local liquidity yes there is there is a lot of liquidity because we go sideways for some time so in the end your ultimate target is going to be be beyond this high and take out this massive liquidity note and mm, this is so great note, it can actually give you swing failure pattern, so you can actually get swing failure pattern at first. But yeah, not much resistance. Uh, going be beyond this high, I will be looking for filling the CME gap. And after filling the CME gap, probably we get scalp at least from the 26,425. Depends on the news. This is going to be news event. You can run uh, over the te technical stuff. You see, I have the first trade area here. This is like the most aggressive trade area. I want to, I will be looking for trade, not guaranteed to take the trade is here. This is also like the first local golden zone here, decent pool. Div up close inefficiency for the high volume note. Market structures just above. So that's perfect. And very important level, as I said, is our 26,635 key high time frame breakout high. I will be also aware, um, you know, with closing above, above this VAC here, this is the first sign of strength as well. So I will be looking, I already was showing you before the scenario. So 
if you for example reject here i'll be watching if he if he's stopping here or not for take profit to be safe because if you get acceptance into the range you can you can rotate the range main rule right you see not much stuff here um, in terms of resistance we have major liquidity above this medium swing failure pattern and then we have the point of control in it so potential another scalp here i just don't mark it as a trade area i'm aware of that <coughs> we'd move here of uh, this is another area you'll be watching because you will rotate this big range here this large range and you have massive liquidity here but this liquidity can run into the uh, three day wall here with monthly view up close and session naked point of control another setup for you Hello. A lot of reasons to just for the longs to take profit but even if you zoom out you need to be aware of this range you because of acceptance into it yeah we have the big book at 27900 as well to watch yeah so yeah i showed you two or three two or three trade areas two areas to the downside and three areas to the upside um maybe final words for you we keep utilizing the um, TRDR. Of course, I'm watching and uh, analyzing all the books from Trading Light, but TRDR is also very valuable. And yet again, each time we are at these at these lows here, look at this. The other books are telling us we'll bounce. This is now one, two, three, four, five, six times. TRDR was not wrong. Um, we will place range at least or we will get more local bounce so if you want to learn trdr you better learn with us uh, this is absolutely great tool because if you don't have trdr support uh, and you know trdr confluence then you are more defensive trdr rules i can i can read a lot of stuff from trdr in the trading line as well because it's so obvious but yeah trdr is making trading a lot lot easier for us okay guys so uh, thank you for watching um we are ready for the upside and for the downside <clears throat> i will try to do more videos for the youtube on various topics so you are learning to be better trader thanks for watching and uh bye on the youtube or in the group bye